My name is Madison Mitchell. I chose Sarah Blakely, the creator of Spanx for my project. I chose to do my project on Sarah Blakely because I was familiar with her product Spanx and wanted to learn more about the company. The creator of Spanx, Sarah Blakely, was born on February 27, 1971. She grew up in Clearwater, Florida. Her father was a lawyer and she praises him for the courage that she had to become an entrepreneur. She attended Florida State University. She graduated with a degree in communication studies in 1993. Blakely created the product Spanx. The creation of the product began when Blakely couldn't find an undergarment to wear under her white pants. Her solution was to cut off the feet of a pair of pantyhose, which proved to be a success. Prior to the creation of Spanx, Blakely had no experience in business, had never even taken a business class, and had no experience in fashion or retail. Blakely had no idea how to get her product started, so she started with the internet. She looked at hosiery mills and found out that the bulk of hosiery in the United States was made in North Carolina. She got on the phone and started to call all of the hosiery mill companies, but no one even answered the phone. And if they did answer, it was not the right person. She tried this for several months, but had no luck. Blakely desperately wanted the help of a female attorney. However, after looking around for months, she found out that there were no female attorneys in the state of Georgia. So she took her idea and went to three different law firms, meeting with all men. She presented her idea to them and tried to explain to them how her product, which helped to shape women's bodies, would change the world. One of the attorneys kept looking around the room and later admitted that when he first met Sarah, he thought that her idea was so bad that it was sent by Candid Camera. All of the attorneys wanted between $3,000 and $5,000 to patent her idea. However, she only had $5,000 in her bank account. So at the end of the day, she decided to write her own patent. The company began in Blakely's own home. She struggled to convince a manufacturing company to produce her product. After some convincing from his two daughters, one of the manufacturers finally agreed to produce Sarah's product. Proving to be successful, Blakely was able to land her first product, a spot, in a major department store, Nyman Marcus. Oprah and Gwyneth Paltrow both publicly raved about Spanx, which contributed more success to the company. Blakely proved to be persistent, action-oriented, and self-confident in creating her business. She proved persistence when she kept asking manufacturers to produce her product and did not give up. She was action-oriented by making the product herself and running her own business. She proved to be self-confident by believing that her product would make it, despite other people's doubts. Like Blakely, I am persistent. I set goals for myself and do not give up until I achieve them. For example, I once persuaded my friend to buy a bracelet I made for $5. She didn't want to at first, but I eventually convinced her it was worth the money. If Blakely were to ask me for advice on how to improve her product, I'd advise her to invest more money in advertising. I rarely see space being advertised, and I think it would improve the company's income if more people knew what the product offered. I would also advise a makeover to the brand's logo. It appears somewhat outdated and he could use some sprucing up. Lastly, I would advise her to expand her horizons and add more products to her company. From Blakely's story, I learned to never give up on myself and to not let other people's doubts get in the way of your own success. I also learned that struggling is inevitable. However, as long as you believe in yourself, you can achieve whatever you set your mind to. Overall, I believe Sarah Blakely's story is very inspirational. Her story, her story shows how one simple idea can end in a billion dollar business.